Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to be talking about the fact that, you know, it seems like more Americans are actually moving out here to Mexico than Mexicans are moving to the United States of America. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. The reason I'm bringing that up is because, well, it, it just so happened that the other day, uh, one of you guys out there, you know, sent me an article, I think from either Forbes or Bloomberg or the New York Times or one of these mainstream media outlets stating that exact fact. And, um, you know, for anyone out there that has uh, been following the whole immigration situation out there, you know, for the most part, um, the reality is, is that immigration has been declining for a very long time. Um, let alone, I mean, you know, let's not count, let's not count what this guy, Mr. Trump, is doing with um, with immigration and the whole border wall and, you know, all the immigration situations that's been happening because of, uh, you know, the new president. Besides that, um, be before that, even, um, you know, before he even took office, you know, we were already in a major decline. In fact, um, the decline really started, uh, you know, turning sharply um, back um, around 2007, 2008. Around then, uh, during that economic crisis, that's when uh, you know the whole thing started reversing for reals. Um, and, and at least in the sense of like um, you know the you know the Mexican and immigrant population not coming in as strong as it used to. Um, so th that that's for sure. You know, what I mean, you can look it up. You can look up those stats. That's 100% sure. I mean, that's like you know that's pretty you know pretty accurate there. You can look at those stats because I've been knowing about that for a very long time. Because again, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm from Miami, born and raised out there. Lots of immigrants out there. So, you know, the whole um, immigration thing is something that I've been dealing with literally since birth. Um, so, you know, again, my sister alone is married to like an El Salvadorian, you know, just to give you guys a little more context on that. All right, let's uh, see if we can run across here real quick. But yeah, so, you know, basically, basically from what that article said, it seems that right now, um, as of um, the census right now, I'm um, here in Mexico. There's over a million Americans, uh, um, over a million U.S.-born citizens already here in Mexico, and um, around 800,000 or less Mexicans, you know, um, moving, you know, into into the United States. So right there, you know, um, and, and we know that those numbers are a little skewed because we know that mo most likely there's. Um, you know those numbers are just under inflated and those are just like the census numbers that come from the u.s and mexican census um as you guys already know there's a lot of people that don't go counted and a lot of people that are falling through the cracks again even myself as an american living in mexico um depending on when you were asking me when i was out here it depends on whether i would be counted on the census or not and depending on how i would be counted on the census so there's a lot of things so for example you know, there was a time I was out here and I overstayed my visa. I wouldn't be counted on the census. Or if all of a sudden I um, I, I become a citizen, I became a, a Mexican citizen, which I will in the next few months, then all, all of a sudden that also changes, you know, because even though I might be out here on dual citizenship, you know, they're gonna count me however it benefits either side. And that's just the reality of it, of, uh, of a lot of these things. but. By the way, before I get too far ahead, did you, did you guys um, notice my new glasses? Very sexy, huh? But anyways, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys know, I have a lot of glasses problems out here. I know one of you guys out there, one of my viewers sent me a, a link to get um, you know, new glasses or at least have a, a, a more, um, a larger variety, a larger, a larger uh, assortment of glasses that I myself could wear because again, just like the shoes out here, I got big feet and all the shoes out here are small i got a big head all the glasses out here are small and so on and so forth so um thank you i want to give a shout out to whoever that was out there i forgot who it was but thank you um but regardless you know all my glasses kept breaking so um i had to get an emergency pair and this time i said you know what let me get a metal frame um hopefully it looks good i haven't had a metal frame in a very long time but Again, this is like the awesome things about Mexico. You know, my glasses broke. I didn't have to go blind for a few days. I just came out here, you know, with my makeshift glasses that I had for like an emergency purpose. And then um, I, I just came, paid $25 and I got a brand, actually $30. No, actually under 30, under 30 in between 25 to 30 bucks. And I'm waited about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And I got myself a brand new frame, brand new glasses, brand new everything. 
Sure, they're not the greatest, they're not the best, but when you can't see and you don't have any glasses, they're awesome. So again, that's another reason, you know, there's a million reasons why um, being out here and living in Mexico is, uh, you know, by far, far superior when it comes to quality of life um, than the US at the moment. That's basically it. That's why you guys watch a lot of my videos and a lot and um, you know watching my channel and why I'm making this video too because you know you know this video is uh, you know just a walking and talking video. All right, let's see if we can do this. Just a walking and talking video about um, you know this simple fact. You know the the fact that you know immigration is now flipping around and it seems that more and more as each day passes, you're seeing more and more um, um, foreign foreigners out here foreign immigrants out here in whatever shape form you know they take you know again not everybody out here is an American there's a lot of people out here that come from you know many different types of uh, you know backgrounds you know uh, whether you're coming from Europe or Latin America or what have you and right now you got to remember in the US um, you know what's going on with the immigration situation you know whether it's this guy building the wall you know whether it's a bunch of immigrants you know now starting to accumulate outside of US borders Man, I should have stayed on that side, I just realized. Or what have you. You know, right now, um, immigration is also, you know, um, an everyday problem over there, not just over here. And so, you know, why I'm talking about immigration at the moment is because, you know, I got a lot, a lot of feedback from my Mexico live stream that I made the week before. My, actually, just my regular live stream that I ended up talking about, you know, uh, Mexico and Trump and a lot of the things that are going on. I got a lot. I'm going to link that video at the end of this one, by the way. All right. So you guys can get uh, uh, some context into what I'm talking about. So after this video, you can watch that. But yeah, you know, basically, it's a lot of things that are happening, man. There's a lot of, a lot of changes that are constantly being, uh, you know, uh, brought upon us now, um, whether we like them or not. And... Uh, you know, a lot of these things are coming about by our own politicians. They have nothing to do with us or the people or anything like that. It's just basically these politicians that are always, uh, you know, causing havoc for all of us. And um, so, you know, right now, even even a simple topic, even a simple topic like what I'm, I'm bringing up right now, which is, uh, you know, the immigration topic. It's a very important one right now because, again. There's more Americans coming into Mexico than Mexicans coming into the United States. That says a lot, okay? That that literally says a lot. And um, it's a lot of the, the re a lot of the things that you guys already know about, and a lot of the things that we talk about on this channel a lot. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, we we I'm always bringing up the fact that you know out here, you know, the economy is recovering and it's starting to boom and it's gonna boom even even we, if we have a worldwide uh, um, economic crisis which we will Mexico's going to be one of those places that is going to be able to you know make it out no problem you know it's going to be definitely you know um, sitting pretty you know once it's all said and done um, unfortunately a place like the United States of America and Europe and other places and, and by the way when I, when I say Europe each day that changes because it all really depends on what country you are in Europe and who you're aligning yourself with but um, I digress. At the end of the day, a place like the United States of America is going to be just like they, they've been number one for a very long time. You know, you know what the old saying goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And what makes you think that that's not going to happen to the United States? We already see all the evidence everywhere we go. So it's only a matter of time. And, uh, you know, a lot of you guys already are fully aware of this. You guys are fully, you know, getting prepared whether it's hunkering down at home or whether it's coming you know to a new country like mexico and uh, the reason that a place like mexico is such a you know um so it is it, so, you know is a place oh wow look at this jeez man it, 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 i love coming i love uh i just love walking around merida man because every single day it's like you know um something brand new something pretty something uh you know again this if you guys remember you guys been following my videos for a very very long time this was like an abandoned uh building that was uh on the verge of getting torn down and now because of uh now because of a lot of uh outside money like a lot of buildings and a lot of you know parts of the city it's you know um now benefiting from outside foreign investment or local investment it doesn't matter but it's definitely 
is definitely benefiting. And again, just like right now within our own countries, you know, if you're in the U.S. and you see a lot of uh, a lot of foreign investment, you know, um, doing things that you wish Americans would be doing for your own country. Well, it's the same thing. You know, you're seeing the same thing out here. You're seeing a lot of foreign investment now coming out here. And um, whether it's building a brand new hotel or a brand new restaurant, you know, you're, you're seeing, uh, you know, the revitalizing of a lot of, uh, um, of a lot of, um, what is it, like arts and culture out here. So, you know, what they're building there, I'm not quite sure, but I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure it's going to be in, in theme. It's going to be in theme with all the things that are building around here, which is a lot of, uh, a lot of art galleries a lot of uh, museums, a lot of culture, a lot of, uh, you know, restaurants, a lot of fancy shops, all that good stuff. So, again, you know, change is good and change is bad. But change is coming. And that's the thing, you know, change is all around us. You know, change is all around us. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in the US or, or Europe or South America or Mexico or whatever, it doesn't matter. Change is coming, it changes all around you and uh, you can't avoid it any longer. So, you know, back when uh, when Mr. Trump, many, many years ago, was saying that, oh, we're gonna build, uh, you know, we're gonna build, and we're gonna have Mexico build that fucking wall. You know, to me, back then, I already fucking said it. I already knew a lot of the things that I'm telling you today, right now, and um, you know, that wall, you know, when he said that Mexico was gonna end up building that wall, you know, or why they would be building that wall. It's again, it's 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 not, it's to curb immigration, guys. You know, um, no one ever made any bones about it. But when he was saying that Mexico was going to build that wall, well, think about it. Why would be why would they be building that wall? Is to keep who out? You know, who's coming from the United States of America? Only Americans, only uh, North Americans from the USA are coming from the USA. So just FYI, there. You know, so we're seeing that as uh you know as we're going along now you know we're, we're literally seeing uh you know not only mr trump building that wall but you're even seeing mexico tighten up with their immigration laws and policies which you, i never thought that i would see and um you know why i'm bringing this video up too why i'm bringing this topic up is because you know there's a lot of you guys that are thinking about moving out here there's a lot of you guys that are thinking about relocating there's a lot of you guys that are you know just curious and wondering what it is to be outside of the US, what, it, what, what life is outside of the US. And the reality is, is that, you know, the way things are going, um, it, it's, it's gonna be a few years before, you know, you as a US citizen can go out and explore the world. It's not gonna be, uh, it's not gonna be as easy as it is today. It's just not. We're literally seeing, we're literally seeing every single day um, um, more and more, um, you know, more and more evidence of um, the migration being the opposite. You know that um, the economies are flipping around. You know, basically. Um, and um, you know why I bring up history, why I bring up a lot of the things that I talk about, is to give you guys context, to give you guys evidence, to give you guys, you know, ways to, you know, ways to check my work. I guess you know, or do your own homework, or you know, look things up for yourself so you can really understand and see what's really going on and that i'm not just talking out of my ass here even though it might seem like i am half the time but the reality is is that hey hold on one second guys one second yeah sorry <laughs> anyways but the reality is guys as i was saying you know the immigration is only going to be flipping around look i, I heard I, I read another stat i read another uh, stat this morning that literally what, what the stat said was that 44% of Americans today are making less than $18,000 a year. Now think about that. Less than 44% of the US population is making less than $18,000 or less. Now, if, if rent alone, if rent alone is $1,000 and 1,000 times 12 is $12,000 and you only have $6,000 to fucking live off of throughout the whole year. That means you got $500 a month to live off of. Okay? As, you know, again, assuming that 
you know, for whatever reason that that's enough. But um, it's not enough. You guys already know that's not enough. That's why a lot of you people out there have like 13 jobs. You know, you're married to somebody or have a spouse when you, you both have 15 jobs and you still have barely enough to pay your fucking bills every month. You're paycheck to paycheck, right? So again, imagine like out here where, you know, you, you have uh, something where you have like um, that, that, um, that $18,000 um, a year salary out here and... Um, you know basically that's all you need you know seriously if you have um an eighteen thousand dollar salary out here you're pretty much living you know middle class and that's pretty crazy and um people are like oh but how do i get first of all people are like oh how do you what do you do out here i don't work out here i have my own business i make money online i work online you guys can get a job online doing just about anything and you're getting paid minimum wage or you're getting paid 15 bucks an hour which again back home is barely enough but with that same salary that you're getting paid in dollars and you're living abroad all of a sudden here you know you're borderline millionaire out here you know i'm exaggerating a bit but you're definitely way better off you're definitely way better off all right you know, don't run me over buddy but anyways uh you know you're definitely way way better off you know uh, living in a place like here or anywhere else for that matter there's a lot of a lot of other places out there that are cheaper not just in mexico but um around the world in which you can still you know use your american citizenship to your advantage and make money um you know um remotely um by working for i mean again you know there's a million jobs that you can have you can be a coder you could be customer service. You know, for example, you could be customer service for U-Haul and you could be stationed in Thailand. It doesn't matter. All you need is a computer, you know, pretty much. And you need to speak American English, you know, and you can get a job like that. And there's like, you know, you can go on and on and on. You can teach English to Chinese people or other foreigners. There's a million things that you could do. You just got to go out there and find it and whatever you want to do. I want to be an artist. You know, I just, I'm always hustling. I'm always doing a bunch of little jobs here and there. I'm always doing a bunch of things because that's what I want to do. You know, there's plenty of you guys that just want to have a regular job and just live your life, you know, work 40 hours a week and that's it. And out here you can do that. Out here you can have a semblance of uh, some normalcy when it comes to that. Um, and especially if you have the advantage of coming from a foreign country. I mean, for reals, you know. Um, but again, even the people that are just living out here modestly, they're fine you know they're living a regular life you know they can live um you know that that crazy one percent life and you know they all they got to do is work like a hundred thousand hours or they could just work their 40 hours a week and support their family and live their life and you know go to the park and have fun and just that's it it all really depends on what you want but out here at least you have options in the u.s there's no option you're either lucky to be born into some sort of wealth or you're very unlucky like the rest of us and you're just born into the country and then you got to fucking figure it out on your own and sure things you know things were awesome 50 years ago um but nowadays again looking at a very recent stat um you know a recent not a recent stat it's more like a graph you know talking about you know talking about just like um the wealth in the country per generation and literally if you were born literally if you were born from 1980 forward you're fucked and that's most of us <laughs> basically that, that, that basically puts you if you're like literally 40 years or under if you're under 40 years of age you got a raw deal anyone over 40 years of age you know they actually were able to um you know um get some of the fruits you know from the tree you know from their labor from you know from the american you know dream you know a lot of a lot of people were able to taste it a lot of a lot of people were able to you know right now the boomers you know they're able to cash out on their house and be able to retire and come out to mexico and have a pension and have a you know whatever but you know pretty much everyone else that's 40 years and under you guys if you guys didn't you know uh, work you know uh, for the man or didn't do a lot of uh you know stuff to get to where you are today you know you're probably in my position right now and that's why you're you know looking at my videos because you're you know you are an individual that you know probably has not much very little and you guys just want to not you know um how do i say this? you guys want to survive the rest of your years with a smile on your face 
And so that's why you guys are looking at videos like these because you guys are looking for a way out. And that's why I make these videos because I, I'm telling you guys, there is a way out and you're not alone. There's a lot of motherfuckers in your position. And um, that's the thing, guys. It's only gonna keep increasing because as of today, you know, again, as of a while ago, all right, as of years from now, um, there's been more Americans than actual Mexicans coming in here. And it's only gonna keep increasing, all right? Well, guys, I'm already home. I gotta get to it because I have a lot of things I gotta do. It's already getting late. Um, I'm tired. I got, you know, to just finish up my day and um, I'm gonna finish up this video. So guys, you already know the deal. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please stay awesome, but more importantly than anything else, um, damn, I think I already said it. I'm tired. I love you guys. See you guys mañana. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link at the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're gonna see some here now, you're gonna have all kinds of fun. So again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys when you.